Hello, Zion friends and family. Hope you all are doing well today. Let's go ahead and let's get started right away with, what is this? The church calendar, right? Also known as the circle of the church year. Okay, let's see if you remember, what are our three great times? Do you remember? We have Christmas, Easter, and Pentecost. Those are our three great times. Where are we at now? Well, look here. We are one, two, three, four, five, six. Now look at that. We are so close to Pentecost. We are in the sixth Sunday of Easter. Then we go to the Red Day, which is Pentecost. And what is Pentecost? It's the day we celebrate the church, right? The church's birthday. Then we go to all those green days. Do you remember what those are? Shout it out loud if you know it. Ordinary time. Then we go up to the days that we get ready to celebrate Christmas. What are those blue days up there called? Advent, good job. Which after Advent, we go to Christmas, then brings us back to the green days, which is ordinary time. Then to the purple days that we just celebrated. What are the purple days? Lent. Good job. I know you guys know your church calendar, so great job. Well, let's go ahead and we're going to get started with our story today. Um, so this Sunday, we celebrate a very special lady in our lives. Who do you think I'm talking about? Our moms. And not just and not just our moms, but the women in our lives that are like a mother figure to us. So this could be even grandma, a foster parent, an aunt, or anyone who has a part in taking care of you. Mother's Day was started in 1914. President Woodrow Wilson proclaimed the second Sunday in May as Mother's Day. What a wonderful thing for him and the Congress to do to make a special day to honor all the mothers in the world. Did you know there is a very important thing you can give to your mom each and every day of your life? What do you think it is? It's honor. Honor is the best thing you can give your mom. Honor is showing respect, for your mom. In Deuteronomy 5.16, it says, Honor your father and your mother exactly as the Lord your God requires, so that your life will be long and so that things will go well for you in the fertile land that the Lord your God is giving you. Do any of you remember what this scripture is a part of? Any guesses? It's a part of the Ten Commandments. This is the Fifth Commandment. So how can we honor our mother? What do you think? How can we honor her? We can honor our mother by being respectful, kind, and loving. We should always listen and do the things that she asks us to do rather than throwing a fit about it, right? I'm sure there are many things your mom has asked you to do that you were probably grumbling and maybe throwing a fit about it. Any of you do that? So remember to always honor your mother by being respectful, kind, and loving because that is the greatest gift you can give to your mom. With this being the time we celebrate moms, we are going to talk about some moms in the Bible today. Do you know who the first mom was in the Bible? We can read about the very first mom in the first book of the Bible in Genesis. Any guesses? It was Eve. In Genesis 3.20, it says, The man called his wife's name Eve because she was the mother of all living. Wow! Eve was the mother of all living things. That's pretty special. Eve was the first mom in the Bible, but that's just where it began. There were so many moms in the Bible, and today I'm going to talk to you about just a few of them, and I want you to see if you can guess who they are. 
This next mom, you probably won't believe me, but she gave birth to a son when she was over the age of 100. Yes, 100. It's true. Some of you may remember us doing a lesson on her before. Any guesses? Her name is Sarah. Sarah was Abraham's wife and they gave birth to a son and they named him Isaac. Sarah was so surprised that God blessed her and her husband with a son at her age that when God told her, you know what she did? She laughed. Abraham and Sarah named their son Isaac because Isaac means laughter. Our next mom, she placed her baby in a basket and sent him down the river because she was afraid something bad would happen to her son. At that time, there was an order, there was an order by the Pharaoh to kill all Hebrew babies. She hoped for someone to find her son and take care of him. It turns out Pharaoh's daughter found him and raised him as her own. You may not be familiar with the, the mom's name, but I bet you can guess who the baby might be. Any guesses? This was baby Moses. Moses had two moms that cared for him. Isn't that wonderful? His mom did what she thought was best for him, and that was sending him down the river in hopes that someone special would find him and keep him safe. And sure enough, he was found by the Pharaoh's daughter who raised him like her own son. Now that's just wonderful, isn't it? Two moms, how great. Our next mom was chosen by God to give birth to a very special baby that would grow up to be the Messiah. Who is this mom? Any guesses? Mary. Mary was the mother of Jesus. She was chosen by God to have Jesus because God saw something special in her. God wanted someone very special on this earth to spread the good word. And that's why he sent his son, Jesus, to us. God knew Mary and Joseph would be the best people to take care of, that spe of this special boy. So the Bible has so many moms, and these are just to name a few. We are so lucky to get to know these moms by reading their stories in the Bible. They were moms just like our moms. They took care of their children, loved their children, bandaged their wounds, and did whatever they needed to do to keep them safe. What is something special that your mom does for you? Think about that today and make sure you tell your mom all the reasons why you love her. So today I have brought with me a photo of me with my sisters and my parents. Let me get it out here and show you. This is my family and I am so blessed that God gave me to this family. And today I want to give a special shout out to my mom. We love you, mom, and we hope you have a wonderful Mother's Day. I would also like to wish all the moms in the world a very happy Mother's Day. Right now, let's go ahead and bow your heads with me, and we're going to say a special prayer just for our moms. Dear Lord, Please bless all the mothers in the world today. Help them know that they are loved and appreciated each and every day. Please be with the ones who have lost their mothers and still miss them dearly. May those children cherish the wonderful memories they have with their mothers. In your name we pray. Amen. Have a great week everyone and I will see you next time.